We'll consider the data, which represents the number of hours spent playing video games instead of doing your math homework like a good person. Now, it's not stated in this problem, but we're going to assume that each one of those data values is a different day. So like on Monday, you played for two hours. On Tuesday, you played for two hours. And Wednesday, you played for two hours, so on and so forth. And we'll draw a frequency polygon for the given data. So we will need some axes here. We'll need an x-axis and a y-axis. So x-axis, gorgeous, y-axis, even better. And then we will need some tick marks here. Since our data, that was my dog writing in some boxes. Since our data goes from two to nine, we're gonna have our data go from, our x-axis, excuse me, go from one to 10. You'll see why in a second. So we got one, two, and just all the way up the line. And this x-axis represents number of hours. Great. And now notice the most uh, repeated number there is, it looks to be four, and that appears four times. So we'll have the y-axis go up to four. And this will represent number of days. Great. So now what we're going to do is we're going to plot some points. Notice that 2 appears 3 times. We put a point at 3. 2 comma 3 namely. 3 appears twice, we put a point at 3 comma 2. 4 appears 4 times. 5 appears twice. 6 appears once. 7 appears twice. 8 appears twice as well. And 9 appears once. All right, so now what we do is we connect these using line segments. And <clears throat> the first point and the last point uh, go to the value previous to it. So since we started at 2, I actually start on the x-axis at 1 and draw a line segment up to the point at 2. And then the consecutive ones I just connect. This one's horizontal, and then down, and then we're at 9, so 9 goes down to 10 along the x-axis. So what we have in blue there is our frequency polygon for the given data. Now, as always, you should have a title, and the title would be just these words here, number of hours spent playing video games, technically instead of doing your math homework. That's a huge title. So you just put the title up top there. Boop. Boop. But I'm lazy. But you get to do that. Good luck.